Welcome back to part two of our video on the worst foods for diabetics. If you missed part one, make sure to check it out for the first 10 foods to avoid. Now let's dive into the next seven. Number 11 on our list is flavored yogurt. While yogurt can be a healthy choice, many flavored varieties are packed with added sugars. Look for plain unsweetened yogurt and add your own flavors like fresh fruits or a sprinkle of cinnamon. Next up, it's time to say no to sugary condiments. Ketchup, barbecue sauce, and salad dressings can sneakily contribute to your daily sugar intake. Opt for homemade versions or choose condiments with no added sugars to keep your blood sugar in check. Number 13 is a common culprit. White potatoes. While potatoes can be a part of a balanced diet, the problem lies in how they're prepared. Avoid deep-fried or heavily processed potato products and instead opt for baked or boiled potatoes in moderation. Now let's talk about number 14, sugary alcoholic beverages. Cocktails, sweet wines, and mixed drinks can be loaded with hidden sugars. Choose lower sugar options like light beer or spirits mixed with sugar-free mixers and always drink responsibly. Coming up next, it's time to avoid high-fat dairy products. Full-fat milk, cream, and cheese can be high in saturated fats, which can increase insulin resistance. Opt for low-fat or non-fat dairy options to reduce fat intake and keep your diabetes management on track. Number 16 on our list is processed snacks. Chips, crackers, and packaged snacks are often high in unhealthy fats, sodium, and empty calories. Choose healthier alternatives like air-popped popcorn, nuts, or homemade veggie sticks for a satisfying snack. Last but not least, number 17, sugary breakfast pastries. Muffins, pastries, and donuts may be tempting, but they're usually high in refined carbohydrates and added sugars. Instead, opt for whole grain toast, oatmeal, or homemade breakfast bars to start your day right. And there you have it, the 17 worst foods for diabetics. By avoiding these items and making healthier choices, you can better manage your blood sugar levels and promote overall well-being. Remember, moderation is key, and it's always a good idea to consult with your healthcare team for personalized guidance. Thank you for joining us for this comprehensive guide on what not to eat if you have diabetes. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and share it with others who might benefit. Make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on managing diabetes and leading a healthy lifestyle. Until next time, take care and stay healthy.